Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, when I'm shuffling off camera, the cards that I got from for you from the Butterfly Oracle deck were religion and spirituality, okay? Healing from the past, spiritual growth, welcome the new, and an end of an era. All right, so Kitty said work backwards, end of an era. So Aquarius, um, if you have been dealing with like tough times, hard times, money, relationships, family, all of that is ending. If you will just allow it and allow for something new to, you know, come into your life, welcome the new, you know, don't let people, places, things, old mindsets, you know, hold you back. Shift the paradigm here, uh, shift your thinking too. end of an era, um, also spiritual growth showing up for you some of you dealt with relationships that propelled you into spirituality so you were supposed to meet that toxic person if you will or be in that toxic relationship because it takes two to be toxic um so that it can push you to maybe the tarot and then to reiki healing and, and then to kundalini yoga and i don't know just down the rabbit hole it was supposed to push you maybe into christianity bible learning about religion because you do have religion and spirituality coming up but this relationship propelled you or something happened in your life that pushed you to seek something that would give you answers because nothing around you nothing tangible um no advice from any one person could suffice you needed something um, that was more that was better you needed something fulfilling you needed answers and it pushed you to spiritual growth healing from the past some of you um okay just like it says you need to heal from the past you need to let something go um you need to do the healing work uh you need to actually okay so you need to do the healing work here um you need to look over the past so they can help you with your now and your future so therapists counselors you know psychiatrists things of you know those people they help you with past events uh, people who help you with the now are like life coaches relationship coach business coach you know people like that so you need to work backwards so that you can work up to now and then the future okay um, because something is hindering maybe bringing in the new and the spiritual growth you keep overlooking something you keep saying i don't have to deal with it because it's over it's old and it's done religion and spirituality showing up for you um this is your saving grace this helped you this helped you move past it helped you place you know, uh, certain events, certain things that happened to you, uh, it helped you, you know, make sense of it all, religion and spirituality. Some of you need to get more routine regimen about bringing in new energy, new frequency. So you need to delve deeper into religion and spirituality. I don't know what that looks like for each individual person, but you need to go deeper um some of you could be studying to be clergy men or women um some of you were or are some of you are in again um you know reiki yoga all kinds of um different modalities of spirituality and healing and religion um religion and spirituality um kept you from a relationship kept you from actually being with a particular person because there you couldn't grow with them there was no spiritual growth with this person because maybe they don't have any basis of morality value system that is that uh derives from spirituality so it was like you were dealing with a person that was co completely in the world carnal you know they just looked at everything as just it is it is what it is you know um and, and you could see past that so that was happening too so 
the end of an era i wanted to look up era so era is a long and distinct period of history with a particular feature or characteristic so the end of a long distinct history of poverty poverty mindset being in bad relationships abusive relationships physical verbal mental whatever um the end of an era of, of some characteristics or something that defined you at, at a certain time it's the end of that okay and for a lot of you it's the end of that because of this religion and spirituality and then you went to spiritual growth you understood why you met why you're here what you're doing um you maybe even switch careers it could be something that you're going to do um that is in the spiritual realm um a religious realm um it pushed you here also so you're on the right path in, in regards to your life and and the trajectory here and where you're going because you're ending some era of tough times of course nobody wants good times to end right you know let the good times roll so definitely we want the end of a tough era a hurtful era a lying deceptive cheating manipulative stealing ass hating ass you know all that stuff we want all of that to end right um it looks like you're gonna go into something um, that is new okay um it doesn't always rain you know the sun comes out so some of you are going to come into the summertime or the sun of your life okay or the, the sun card you know it's kind of popping up in my mind's eye um okay so let's go here first interesting all right let's see um we're not going to make those ones extremely long aquarius but because I, I think these butterfly oracle cards really summed it up for you uh for some of you you just need to know secret love child coming out so something about um somebody could have a secret love child you could be ending something going into something new um secret love child you could be cultivating and honing in on your skills your intuition your intuitive side um you could have some repressed gift talent and now you're getting under some tutelage or mentorship and you're going to let that secret love child out all right let's see so this could be singing dancing acting um maybe you're clairvoyant clair audience clair audience or whatever black witch bad curses so yeah you're coming out of a bad time here the end of that era of just um maybe somebody put some hex on you or curse on you or curse on your family you're going to be a generational you no know, curse breaker or you have or you already done that um or if somebody you know again put some type of root work on you or curses or spells or was throwing you the evil eye you've come out of that um you've come into understanding that someone was doing that to you by way of religion and spirituality um, and now that is ending for you that era of being taken advantage of of questioning like why is this all this crazy stuff happening to me um not even knowing that you know there were people in your life surrounding you who were doing this type of energy work uh about you or to you um and then you you walked into your divinity into your spirituality and you said oh okay now i get it and you started to kind of um you know be on the defense now and, and so this is good this is this is good for some of you you woke up um you also are understanding that maybe some relationship just uh, came into your life to maybe enlighten you okay enlighten you put you in the light you know of religion and spirituality even provide spiritual growth so what was meant for a you know your demise for negativity you turned it around and you used it for positivity you could have been in some relationship that pushed you to religion and spirituality now you're here on youtube reading tarot cards or doing reiki healing or energy work or uh, ministering um any type of work here so this is this is beautiful all right let's see what else do the cards want to tell the aquarius here what else do we want to tell the aquarius all right let's see what else do we want to tell the aquarius to 
telepathy very nice so some of you can read minds or um you need to look into that you need to do some research about that um you can read the minds of those who you're close to uh, close with maybe in proximity or just close in terms of you know um, having a close relationship with uh, telepathy uh, someone can read your mind and you can read theirs um, you could have been in some relationship where there's a lot of telepathy there and uh, you can pick up and clue in on again something about honing your skills fostering your skills getting under some tutelage some mentorship so that you can use your gifts for the light be the light all right let's see lying to everyone so you might have been dealing with somebody who was lying to everyone it's kind of funny when i picked up the end of the era card i was like hating and lying and you know i was going so maybe some people were lying to everyone about you just spreading lies here rumors about who you are as a person your character funny era talks about you know um uh, a characteristic or feature um that uh you know defined a specific time you know in your life so maybe at a specific time in your life people were just lying on you lying about you and you were just allowing it to happen now you're fighting back okay um you might be on the offense here town whore some people was lying you know telling people that you were a whore um that you get around that you sleep around that you'll do anything for money because we got that town whore coming out and you know green card um let's see start that business came out all right aquarius start that business um it looks like you did you've redirected refocused re just shifted this energy because you were under some energy work that you didn't even know about okay and i think what was keeping you here was your divinity your spirituality um that you hadn't really tapped into but you might be an enlightened one or uh, an elect or a chosen one. So your spirit guides and your ancestors were fighting your battles, even though you weren't aware of it. Okay. Um, and now it's about redirecting all of that negativity and starting a business, um, some type of healing business, some business where you, you tell your story, your story is incorporated with this new business. All right just apologize um okay i heard you know something about somebody you know what they did or you know yeah you know what they did last summer you know the energy work that they you know they did against you you know what they stole from you you know and it's just like you're you're at a, you're a place where like just apologize you know firstly to my god and then to me okay um, but you're at a place like just apologize, you know, it is what it is. I've kind of let it go um, I understand who you are. I'm never going to, you know, let that go But you know apologize because somebody's under some Maybe judgment what's going on here? Why did just apologize come out? Um, there could even be a relationship somebody that you split from you know um they want you to come back but you're kind of in a place of just apologize you know and i will forgive you yeah closed off to love so this person can be closed off to love their heart is closed it's cold it's callous um but they want you but they want you to come to them give you their goodness this is a toxic connection okay you might be closed off to loving them or having love for them um yeah fired from the job you may have left um you may have um left the relationship ended it you fired this you let it go you gave somebody their walking papers their pink slip somebody could have literally got fired from their job um but you you got really upset with some with some treatment i don't think you really lashed out but you more so um you calmed your nerve you calmed yourself and you just removed yourself um, you gave somebody their walking papers or a pink slip without even giving it to them i think you did something completely different contrary to what you would do in the past dealing with this person yeah white witch yeah, i know some of you are, are, are the light workers or you know um you've really shifted energy here lots of people are jealous of you 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 you, you. all they do is talk about you wow you could even be jealous friends they smile on your face but all the time when take your place the backstabbers okay um 
they're jealous of you they smile on your face of course uh, but they're jealous of everything that you have to offer the world maybe even the relationship they just feel so in inadequate you know standing next to you you know inadequate um being in your presence your light you know disrupts and you know um it messes with their demons you know the things that they have not dealt with uh, let's see yeah hook up on the weekend um these friends might even want to hook up on a weekend hang out with you um it hurts like false you know or they make plans to hang out with you and they may even could be somebody that is in the same sex connection or you could be in the same sex connection these people are jealous of you they are jelly roll baby um They may make plans to hook up with you on the weekend. They don't follow through. They only make plans just to um, see you and see what you're doing. And maybe even, you know, garner more of your business. Keep your business to yourself or in love with my side woman. Um, I heard that some of you. So somebody could be in love with you. You could have kept you as a side woman or a side man. It was a bad decision. Somebody kept a side person when they were in a relationship with you also. It was a bad decision. They knew it. You know, they knew they it, it was it was either a go or a no. And they chose go, even though they knew it was a bad decision. Um, Somebody also brought you into their marriage or their relationship, knowing that, you know, they were already married or in a relationship. They just didn't didn't care. They didn't care for your well being. Okay, now they may be in love with you. Some of you also in love with your your side hustle. Whatever you do on the side, it's like you want to make it the number one thing in your life. You know, you want to make it um, your bread and butter. Okay, um, you don't really want to go to your nine to five if you have one. Club hopper. This is somebody who gets around, jumps around. Um, they're all about the party. They're all about being seen. They're all about starting new situationships and then hop into the next. You may have met this person during a time where there was trauma in your life. A lot of times this card comes out when we meet people. I, when I do readings, when um, people have met people around um, when the, the pandemic first started. So everybody was in that traumatic situation of having to be locked in the house. So you just bonded with you know whoever you know allowed it so it was like trauma bonding and then also you could have had your own individual trauma in your life and it bonded you closer to someone but always keep in mind when you do the trauma bonding thing when the trauma's gone guess what the relationship is gone too um so yeah somebody was in i just said that somebody was in an unhappy marriage and they brought you in a marriage and they didn't even give a shit that you know you could get hurt your feelings could get hurt I bought you, you know, they just wanted you as a weekend getaway. This is somebody just didn't care for other people. They're, they're getting some type of karma. Okay. You're getting some type of karma. They just wanted to keep you as a friend or a friend with benefit. Let's see. You're dealing with somebody who's a hateful mother sucker. You know, they're just hateful. You know what I'm saying? There's no love in them. You know, this could even be friends, family. This could be people that you're around you know they just um they hate your guts you know they hate everything that you're about you know um they may act as if they don't but they do this also you you this person could be telling you that they love you they like you there's only coldness in their heart infertility issues um so this could literally literally be that someone is not um able to reproduce you know or pro procreate you know have a baby um or this could be that this person can't make anything grow you know there's um nothing is on fertile ground this person whomever did all these this black magic and curses against you nothing in their life is growing nothing and i do mean nothing you know um they can't make anything grow. That is a, a direct indication of the energy around them. Negativity, karma, drama, demonic, maybe even demonic possession. Yeah. 
Um, so there's somebody here who they just can't get anything off the ground, even if they try. Uh, barren. Their soul is barren. There's nothing within them. All right, let's see. Super independent lady. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're super independent. You're a girl boss. You get things done. You know, um, you may have been dealing with some promiscuous cross dresser. So I just keep getting that this person might not be gay or lesbian, but they like to dress in the opposite sex clothing. You know, so this would be a man in a dress. This would be maybe a woman who likes to put on man's clothes. I don't know. I, I don't know. And I am not judging. But I'm just saying this is somebody who has maybe a fetish. And maybe that's why they're so promiscuous and they can't settle down. Um, they're so afraid of getting found out. This could even be that somebody is, you know, has homosexual tendencies. Uh, or they at least want to explore or they have explored or this also sometimes comes up when somebody is of two minds about being in a relationship and then just being promiscuous and being out there so take it how it resonates for you and your situation yeah okay so for a lot of you it's going to be the last one because somebody's the big flirt is coming out somebody's a, a huge flirt you know and whomever you're dealing with who is married they're, they're never getting a divorce you know um they brought you into this marriage just so a lot of times i tell people when well, you're a third party to a marriage like a marriage marriage even to some of these long-term relationships all you are doing is keeping those two people together because that one person that got went out and found you they were unhappy in their marriage right so instead of going and getting a divorce or going to counseling and trying to revive the happiness in their marriage they said you know what i'll do i'll go get a third person and that's who you are you are the medicine to their relationship you are the bond that's keeping them together so if anything you need to be handing them an invoice at the end of the day because you are the therapist you are uh you know um the retreat the couple's retreat so keep that in mind guys third parties to marriages and long-term relationships sometimes all you're doing is just prolonging a bad situation you know um and the, you and you only you know i don't know so you know, let's run away together yeah this is what these people i'm never getting a divorce but let's run away together for for how long the weekend that you got to go back home you know this this is absolutely asinine it's crazy this is somebody who's playing mind games the, the cross dresser um or the um the person who is of two minds you know or you know i'm never getting divorced but let's run away together um what else is going on here for uh aquarius Some, somebody's dealing with somebody who's lazy as f they don't do anything all they do is eat lounge and sleep Somebody could be homeless and in need now. Those people who are receiving the negative karma, somebody is saying to you either in their actions or maybe with their words, I do not do well with one-on-one -on -one connections, you know? And again, back to piggybacking off of that person who went and got you to be the resolve to their marriage or their long-term relationship. I made you fall in love with me because it was fun, sorry. And all they're interested in is the late night creeping for you to be the sneaky link. Some people are absolutely horrible. You know, demons come in so many different ways. And, and that can be one. Um, these cards wanted to fall out. Yeah, someone's saying this is the best sex I've ever, ever, ever had. You know. Um, someone's in love with their friend. In love with my friend. Um, yeah, somebody got caught cheating here. But I don't think it ended anything. Somebody could be or had suffered physical abuse either now or in the past. Yeah, I think with this physically abused person, the husband didn't contribute financially. Somebody talks way too much, you know, um, and, and too much. Somebody s just says things and they have no intention of actually doing them, making the promises. And they know they're not going to fulfill any of them. Somebody's all talk, no action. You know, everything is blah, blah, blah. You know, you their word is not their bond. You couldn't take their word to the bank if you wanted to. 
the word is no good everywhere um this is what i have for you aquarius it says all of this negativity that you dealt with with either a specific person or a group of people guess what the end of that is over the end of that era is over um of people taking advantage of of you energetically doing things to upset your life and your free will that is over you're abreast to it you know what's going on and you're fighting back okay this is what i have for you aquarius if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section another good reading um go over to the website and book your own reading there take advantage of the 50 uh percent off uh discount code um Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, doing a collective reading and answering your questions. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.